Jupiter and Saturn are now even closer together uh, in the sky with angular distance less than one tenth of a degree very rare occasion um, if there is anything you see the light of Jupiter more than the Saturn so practically what we are seeing is the light of Jupiter it doesn't look any brighter to me maybe slightly but very noticeable Saturn is at the yeah around half past 11 or 11 o'clock of the Jupiter in this image in this video and the moon is at the corner and the Saturn and Jupiter at the other corner if there was any astrological significance it should have been for the moon <laughs> but astrologers never give up <laughs> uh, I try my hand in it sometimes and <laughs> it's not really something that you can trust Okay, the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction is on the way to today. It's just one day they can get closer more than this. I'm using the refractor, mid 102 millimeter refractor with the, uh, the eyepiece that is the um, SP1 Asperic 62 degrees 23 millimeter eyepiece. Let's see how it looks. The distance between the Saturn, angular distance between the Saturn and the Jupiter is less than the distance of the angular distance of the Galilean, last Galilean satellite, that is Callisto. Just so close. That was the view. It's amazing and it's quite visible. It's dark now, and uh, you can see the distance between the Callisto, which is the farthest of the Galilean satellites, to the Jupiter, is actually a little bit more than the distance, angular distance of the Saturn. So, quite, quite close, quite close. 800 years uh, ago, such a close conjunction you know, it means close being close together of these two planets happened and now we have another one Okay, now I'm using the uh, Bader Classic Ortho. Let's see how the view looks with this eyepiece. 10 millimeter eyepiece. And I think the brightest Galilean satellite you can see is Ganymede tiny star beside the Jupiter, to the right of Jupiter. Yeah, you see it now. Right gone. Uh, it's the camera that I'm holding.